Yo, what is good, YouTube? Today, man, we got a brand new settings video. The Vanguard integration recently came out, so Warzone Pacific is now fully in effect, and they actually did change a few settings. Now, I've been getting a lot of people in my comments saying, Hydro, do a new settings video. I also did a community tab pull, and a lot of people are also asking me to make a settings video with that as well. And unlike most times that they've added new settings, these ones really do matter. So I would highly advise you guys to watch all the way through the video because there are definitely some things that you guys got to change and maybe don't even know about to be honest with you my settings videos usually do very very good every single time so if you guys are brand new to the channel man make sure you guys do hit the sub button we are on the road to 200,000 subscribers man so if you are looking for daily warzone pacific content here on the channel hit the damn sub button man you guys know the deal and of course make sure you guys do drop a like on the video we are going to shoot for 1.5k likes on this video man like i said my settings video do very very well every single time so if you guys want me to do more of these in the future hit the like button so starting off we're obviously going to be going over the graph graphic settings now they actually split these up into two separate categories right now we are on the display category but shortly we're actually going to be switching over to the quality which has something new that you guys are going to want to change for sure real quickly i'm going to scroll through my display settings you guys can copy these down if you want to i know that everybody has a different pc setup though so you guys can really use whatever you want when it comes to your graphic settings i'm just going to be giving out recommendations because when i did switch to pc i had a bit of a hard time trying to figure out what was best for me because i had like really bad fps at the time so I find too my settings on my old PC. I did buy a new gaming one. So I just kind of transferred them over and they still work perfectly fine. Not a whole lot of stuff matters on the display settings. Really most of it comes from quality. Obviously the first thing right here being FOV. I actually have mine on 120 affected and FOV is obviously a very hot topic right now. <laughs> like console players are pissed because there is not FOV on console. I know there's a lot of you guys probably watching this that are on console and I am gonna give my opinion on that. What a lot of people don't understand is that the engine that is ran on Modern Warfare and Warzone is different than the one on Vanguard and Cold War. You know, why do you think that there is a FOV slider in Vanguard and Cold War but there isn't one on Modern Warfare? It's because it's ran on an engine where there's hardware limitations. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're working on it, but even on current gen consoles like the PS5, I still think people underestimate how much FPS you would actually lose by having 120 FOV on, even on current gen like the PS5. Like a lot of modern day GPUs on Warzone can't handle 120 FOV. You know what I mean? Like I know I'm probably gonna start a war between console players and PC players down in the comments. I, I cannot wait to see the comments on this this video bro anyways though man one of the new settings that they actually added was camera movement now default i'm pretty sure it's on yeah 100 so basically what you guys are going to want to do is lower this all the way down to least which is actually on 50 percent. and on the right it says adjust the intensity of camera shake movement does not apply to all camera movement so it does not apply to everything that you do when you're moving but it applies to most and pretty much when you're doing like slide cancels bunny house whatever the case may be it'll actually decrease the the shakiness of the camera itself so definitely something that you guys are going to want to actually change everything else though here i'm pretty sure is actually from previously so you guys can once again copy these down if you do feel like it next up we're going to go over the interface tab i'm pretty sure they actually straight up replace this with the general tab correct me if i'm wrong but i think that everything is on the interface tab was once on the general tab i don't know why they took that out or even changed these things kind of useless in my opinion anyways though for your subtitles you guys are going to want to have these off i spoke on this before i really just don't see a point and having subtitles on unless you have a legitimate hearing issue but if you have like a really good headset and you can hear audio perfectly fine subtitles are kind of pointless because they just take up a lot of your screen and are very distracting so i would recommend turning them off next up man for my colorblind type i know this interests a lot of people i actually don't use really anything fancy guys i just have tritinopia with the interface setting on you guys can see what it actually looks like turned off there is quite a difference it goes from more like greenish yellow to straight up like orangish yellow as you guys can tell i really don't like to have the color Color correction with the world i really only like to have it on the interface and i get tons of questions that's like yo hydra what's your additional uh nvidia filters like you know what i mean like do you have any nvidia filters so long story short i really do not have anything too special what i do have though is my color correction on my obs studio my recording software but that is only what you guys see i actually don't see any of the applied settings on here but what i do see is my adjusted monitor settings you know obviously that being like the exposure black and 
whites, color correction, you know, the saturation, stuff like that. So that is what I see. I have a BenQ 165 Hertz monitor. It's a pretty good one. Tool tips, I just have to disable to have them disabled for like the longest time. Now, horizontal and vertical heads up display bounds. I just have them on both 100. Mini map shape, obviously you guys are gonna want to have this on square. You can't really see the difference because of my webcam, but pretty much uh, it, I would say it gives you probably 25% more visibility on the mini map. So it's definitely your best bet to have this on. I really don't even know why they have this as an option. They should just have square and square only. Like definitely have that on enable compass cardinal direction text. I have that on letters. So if you really do want to call out, yo, like he's north, west, southeast, whatever it may be, I do use that sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie when using call outs, but if you do want to actually use that, have it on letters, I definitely think it's way more beneficial. Kill feed duration, I have this on default. They actually changed this like a month or two ago, I think. Um, I really did not change this because I'm not really a feeder or anything like that. I don't go for crazy feeds. So text chat is really just all if you want to see what other players are saying in the text. I like to have it on because I find it pretty funny. And then the system settings right here are pretty much all for PC players. You guys can see I just have my FPS server and latency, packet loss and GPU temp on. For my audio settings, this is another very, very big topic. I actually have a full dedicated video to my audio settings, even advanced audio settings with the Astro A4s and stuff like that. If you do want to go check that out later after this video is done, there's a card at the top of the screen right now. But pretty much, I'm going to go over them here very briefly. So for my audio mix, I actually have it on boost high. I know there's a lot of people who switch over to boost low. Not the biggest fan of it, in my opinion. I actually think it's a bit too loud and a bit annoying when watching gameplays for extended periods of time. My master volume is on 30. I know a lot of people have it on 100, but this is just my personal preference because obviously uh, every system is different when it comes to audio levels and OBS, Discord, your game, music, whatever the case may be. So I just have it on 30. That's perfect for me. I have my music volume off because I hate hearing the music in the background. It gets super annoying after a while. Everything else right here, I'm pretty sure is default. Make sure you do put your hit marker sounds on classic though. It sounds super sick. Obviously voice chat is specific specific to your computer, your microphone, headset, you know, obviously all of that type of stuff and war tracks right here, disabled in volume at 50%. Now for my controller settings, probably what a lot of you guys came here for, for my controller demons out there, man. Pretty much, if you guys did not know, I actually do use a Cinch Gaming controller. I actually am partnered with them. You guys can go down below in the description and cop a Cinch controller for 5% off. You guys can tell there's a lot of crazy stuff on here, right? We obviously have the digital tap triggers as well as bumpers barely any movement to them at all makes it super super responsive obviously we do have the two back buttons right here this one is actually synced to circle this one right here is synced to x very very good controller so you guys can definitely go cop one link in the description for five percent off with that being said since i do have two buttons on the back i do not need to change my br button layout or stick layout i've had these default for as long as i played call of duty invert vertical look is off i actually did have somebody in my comments that had this on on. apparently they were like super into like flying games back in the day i didn't even know people had a vertical look on for that that's pretty cool actually but uh 99.9 .9 percent of cod players i would recommend having this off because it's i mean to be honest with you in my opinion it would just get super super confusing after a while like you turn your stick one way but you actually look the other like it just makes no sense to me next up man some pretty important now uh the basic dead zone back in the day was just very simple it had one dead zone setting as you guys can tell what i did have it on was is 0.03 if you guys want the basics to adjusting your dead zone there's going to be a card at the top of the screen right now that you guys can go click and watch after this video it's going to show how to adjust your dead zone specific to your controller so do not copy this down okay because dead zone depends on how much stick drift you have on your controller in particular so do not copy 0.03 go watch that video after this one is done now the main difference that they changed is they actually added left and right stick dead zone so it kind of differentiates now as well as they added left and right max so they added left right minimum and max which is pretty cool now i heard this back when cold war first came out because this is when they first introduced this type of dead zone setting to actually change it from default 0.99 which is what most of you guys probably have it at and just raise it up to one i truly don't know if that actually makes any major difference at all but the way that it seems to me is that you would truly want max mobility with your thumbstick as much as possible right that's like when you kind of dumb it down that's what it's seems like to me so i have it on one try it out and let me know what you guys think of that for my horizontal
horizontal and vertical sensitivity. I've had it at six for the longest time. I know there's a lot of freaks in nature out there that love to change your sensitivity day in and day out. That's just simply something that I wouldn't be able to do. Once I get situated with sensitivity, I usually stay at that for, you know, a very, very extended period of time. So I've just had it at six, six for the longest now. And usually this is, should be at 0.85. I don't know why this changed. I mean, because I know that they had ADS sense high and low zoom and I had it at 0.85. Why is it a one now? I might actually have been running at one since the integration came out. That is not good. I run at 0.85. I mean, if you guys saw my previous videos, I run at 0.85. I don't know why that was set to one. Custom sensitivity per zoom is off. I think this is actually new. Actually, no, this was in here in my last settings video. I did not change anything though. Aim response curve type, definitely have this on dynamic. I really do not know like any of the statistical information on what each individual curve type actually does. You have standard, linear, and dynamic. You can get away with using standard Standard. I've literally never seen anybody use linear, but definitely have it on dynamic. It's what the pros have been on for like over a year now. And controller vibration, definitely have this as disabled. I've been like a firm believer in having your controller vibration disabled ever since I did it back in like Black Ops 3. Trust me, I was one of those people that always said, no, just like have it on. It's, you know, there's no point in changing it off, blah, blah, blah. But one time I just, you know, it said, screw it, bro. I'm gonna play with it for a few games off and I never switch back, bro. Like straight up, just turn your controller vibration off if you still have it on. Aim assist, definitely keep this on standard there's no need to change your aim assist at all this is one of the settings that i would like literally highly highly advise you guys to keep the same because this standard aim assist has been consistent with pretty much every call duty in the past and every call duty in the future with the standard aim assist so i have never seen a point in changing it scale aim assist with fov i actually had this enabled but recently i turned it off and i feel like that my aim assist got a lot stronger weapon mount shared input have this on ads plus melee weapon mount movement exit disabled ads site behavior holds Steady aim behavior hold, equipment behavior hold, use reload behavior, contextual tap. This basically makes it so all you have to do is press the one the button one time instead of holding it to pick up stuff, open doors, get in vehicles, and everything like that. It just makes your gameplay 100 times faster. I have depleted ammo, weapon switch on, armor plate behavior, have that on apply all. And then for my movement settings right here, I actually have a full dedicated movement video that you guys can actually click at the top of the screen. But what I want you guys to do is drop a like if you guys do want a brand new movement movement settings video because I have learned a few new tips and tricks that I definitely want to share with you guys. So let me know by dropping a like if I should make a brand new movement tutorial video. With that being said, the basic settings that you guys are going to want to have on is side behavior tap, auto move forward, disabled, tack sprint, single tap from sprint. I think this is actually default. I know that they added this as a new setting. I don't think this actually matters though because I have automatic tactical sprint on, which is what all you guys should have on. And pretty much what that does is it just makes it so you can just move like this up on your thumbstick and you will automatically automatically go into a tactical sprint. So I don't think that the tactical sprint option matters if you have automatic attack sprint on because I haven't seen the difference in my movement. So and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for all my settings here in Vanguard Warzone, Warzone Pacific season one, whatever you guys want to call it, man. Drop a like if you guys do want more settings in the future. I keep you guys updated every single season if there are brand new settings changes. And if you are brand new to the channel, hit that sub button because we upload daily Warzone Pacific content over here. So you guys are definitely not going to want to miss out on any of that, man. With that being said, thank Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Dropping my show like a boss. I'm starting to mosh pit, leaving with broke bones. 100K on me like hydro. Count it up, audience cover the whole globe. Sneakers and hit you with astros. I got the setup that come from the cosmos. I don't need nobody telling me how to flow. I just keep stacking these subs like it's Quiznos.